A Puerto Rican artist just finished a painting along the Beltline. So this highlights the story of indigenous people in the Caribbean. In tonight's Voices for Equality, our Paula Soro explains what the artist hopes to accomplish with each and every brushstroke. For about three months, Lisette Correa worked to display Puerto Rican history on the Beltline walls. But for her, this was more than just a passion. This was her mission. When we talk about the civil rights movement and freedom and equality, it's also important for us to highlight the Caribbean. Her highlighter is a paintbrush and her canvas, the Beltline Walls. I wanted to like really pay homage to the Tainos in Puerto Rico. The Tainos are indigenous people of the Caribbean who were declared extinct in the 1560s. But ever since, historians have argued that's not the case. Artists like Correa have too. Many say it wasn't extinction, but rather paper genocide, a term used to describe how people can be made to disappear from government records, even erasing them from the census according to the National Geographic. I took a, a DNA test and I found out that I was 12.7% Taino. So we are not extinct, we are still here, um, we're still alive and um, I'm here to share the stories that haven't been told. Stories of her ancestors now line up the walls along this walking path. From the strong women depicted on the pillars, her grandmother at the center of it all, to the bright greens representing El Yunque, Puerto Rico's national rainforest. It's about your blood, you know, tu sangre. The artist who goes by Art Addict hopes each image will not only inspire people to research, but also educate. Ever since the massacre of the Tainos and that information being torn away from us by our colonizers, there's been so many other things that have happened to Puerto Rico since then that, you know, it, it, you would say that Puerto Rico's forever been in slavery. History beyond the textbooks. Our Voices for Equality initiative empowers diverse voices in our community. You can find more on 11alive.com voices.